Ladies and gentlemen, how are you all doing today and welcome back to Zombies Archives and today we are continuing Super Mario Kart Wii Deluxe and today we are moving on from the Super Mario Kart tracks and are moving on to bigger and greater. Ladies and gentlemen, we're playing the Nintendo 64 tracks, the Mushroom Cups tracks of those uh, games and we are starting with Luigi Raceway, the only track in this set of four that actually only has one version. The other three of them will have a remake or a original version, aka two versions that we need to cover. So really, we are going to have to enjoy the most out of Luigi Raceway as we possibly can. I'm not really too sure why there is no extra remake for this track specifically, because in my opinion, it is a very good track. I know it's not a very popular one, but yeah, I don't I don't really see why it's so such an unpopular track in my opinion. I am also really not privileged, I guess, to uh, talk about what should and what should not be good tracks from Mario Kart 64. Because Mario Kart 64 is, believe it or not for me, the Mario Kart I have played and seen the least of. I do own it. I literally own every single Mario Kart. I kind of want to try and see if I can show some uh, footage of proof that I actually own all of them, all of them in uh, the corresponding videos. But yeah, let's just say that I really do own this game, but I just play it the least for some reason. I actually have a physical copy of it as well. For Super Mario Kart, that's actually not the same. I actually only own that as a virtual console on the Wii U. And I believe along with that, oh Jesus, another one. They're going ham with the blue shell, so it seems. But uh, yeah, I do own a physical copy of most of the games, except for Super Mario Kart. I believe for Super Mario Kart, I only I own it as a virtual console on the Wii U, and I also have access to all the Nintendo Switch Online games, meaning that I can also get it playing on the Nintendo Switch. Plus, I also got the expansion pack, meaning I, I can also play uh, Super Circuit and 64, which I think the former of which I kind of want to practice a lot because well, I like it I just know how difficult it is if this is gonna cost me the game I swear to god but yeah since this is the only version that does that only has what um sorry since this track only has one version going I figured uh best character to pick for this is Luigi and also not really because of that but also because it's my favorite character of the whole roster I think I have not really been been that secretive about that like Luigi is my main man like it's very normal that you actually have a thing for Funky Kong in this game because it's just a an incredibly handsome ape but that bias aside Luigi is my fa favorite Mario character of all time and it will likely always be the case. Though I shit on him on Super Mario Kart because on Super Mario Kart every single AI character is an absolute sadist. Mumu Farm. This is a very big, very hated char uh, character, I almost wanted to say. It's not very uh, liked among the community. Mostly because for most of the track it's a very repetitive track layout. And the only real hazards you have are the, mon are the Monty Moles. Which aren't really doing much. It's actually to the point where, wow, I've only been noticing it now. This track has five laps. That's actually not a protocol, a standard with my, with Nintendo 64 tracks. They're all supposed to have only three laps. But apparently the creator found this uh, track so short that there, there are actually five laps on each. Guess that's saying a lot about it. Although, that's not really, in my opinion, a reason why a track should be hated. Because, I mean, there's also Baby Park, which is seven laps. And, honestly, I think everybody, everyone loves that track. Well, most of them. There are also haters around Baby Park, but in my opinion, or for at least from what I've been able to observe with me and my family, is that everybody seems to overratingly love Baby Park, just because it's a simple oval. And, there are, believe it or not, there are actually people around in this world. I consider some track layouts in uh, Mario Kart extremely complicated. Don't know what to say of that. I can really only say from my own experience that that's not the case for me. But hey, everyone, everyone their own. For now, we're going to move on to the next track. Uh, I believe this is called Koopa Troopa Beach. Very important. And this is an odd one in my opinion. Because yeah, Koopa Troopa Beach. It's there. It's handsome. Koopa is very handsome there as well. But remember... This character roster does not have Koopa. 
Meaning he's not a playable character. And yet I guess a track like this introduced in a game like this is kind of suggesting that he was planned to be in the game. But then later apparently got replaced by either Wario I guess or actual Donkey Kong. Although I think actual Donkey Kong at the end of the day was... The replacer for Donkey Kong Jr. And there's still debates ab about whether, like, what the hell is up with that. But anyway, this is a shortcut. Even on 200 CC, we cannot make it without a shroom. You really need a shroom to get that. Very likely that we're not going to be able to get that. Because, I mean, as I already kind of told in the final episode of Super Mario Kart. Really? We've had the most difficult stuff out of the way already right now. This is where Mario Kart, at least for me, at least in the Mario Kart Wii stuff. It's gonna become much easier. Like, this this kind of physics engine and everything, this is what I've been playing for so often and so long. It's very hard for me to actually make mistakes around this. And so, like, Super Mario Kart and I guess Super Circuit is just still different in the sense that if I would have to play that specifically, like, it is still a different experience to the point where that might still challenge me. But this, I just know this physics engine in and out. And the same goes for when I actually go and play the original Mario Kart 64 as well. Like, it's gonna be... I don't want to be too cocky, of course. Especially Mario 64, 64 might still surprise me with the fact that I have not played mo a lot of that. But from what I'm able to say and tell from it, it's not really going to be that difficult for me. I just watched the very first episode already giving me trouble in a moment. And that, if that would be the case, that would be pretty funny, but still. And that's that for Koopa Treeba Beach. Wario, what are you doing? I mean, kind of iconic that the character that actually replaced Koopa is actually the character that's stopping right at the front of the finish line, but it's kind of mockery. But when I think about it, it's only something Wario can do. But anyway, on to the next and final track of this uh, set. And uh, then there's Calamari Desert. And I believe this is a very universally loved track. Like, every single time this thing gets remade. I believe it got remade in both Mario Kart 7 and Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, I believe, in the in the Booster Course Pass, actually. And then also still in freaking Mario Kart Tour a lot with uh, different layouts and everything. And really, essentially, in my opinion at least, it is overrated. Oh my god, I was very lucky though. I mean, I get the appeal. Like, visually, even like when we're go going to get to the original game, I'll get more in depth onto it. it it's a good looking track, and it's very relaxing, I guess, with how the track layout is. But essentially, it's a glorified it's a glorified oval. Look at this. Screw you, baby. Look. We G, why did you get ghosted through that? Also, the AI is for some reason just much faster than me. Don't know what the hell is up with that, but it is what it is, I guess. I mean, it's, it's, I guess, satisfying to be able to play the way I'm playing for this track right now. I guess for that reason, it is so liked, but I don't, I don't know, man. I'm not really too sure where I stand with that. But I will say environmentally, this track does and still is very, very unique. Because I believe this kind of desert... I believe it's the only one of its kind. Like, it's a very American-style desert. And really, all the other desert tracks, they really seem to want to represent a more Egyptian vibe. Which I do dig. But it kind of makes you wish more tracks like this also exist. Like, this American... Nevada-style track. Am I still not catching up to Peach? What do I need to do to catch up with the first person? Like, Jesus, what the hell? I, I, I also keep getting bananas. Uh, this feels a little bit biased. I mean, oh, oh god. Well, there goes my lead even more. Can I please get something good then? That is not good enough. But it might actually get us back to second. Okay. Well, it will give us the victory for the cup anyway. And yeah, this seems to be the original way of Mumu Farm. Although I'm not gonna lie, this feels more like it's a more like altered version of Mumu Meadows. Just like similar to how Koopa Beach number one was uh, very similar looking to Shy Guy Beach. That, that's kind of how this is. Which is normal, I guess. These assets that look so similar to Mumu Farm are already there. So why recreate it from scratch i do understand that but still to say this is one-on-one -on -one, mumu farm is a big overstatement bro i almost want to actually keep that gold shroom for the end and for some reason this has free laps i'm not even joking go go and uh pay attention to how we are going to finish here in a moment but this instance of mumu farm actually only has free lap which in my opinion i still think uh, feel like is better for this track but 
God damn it. I mean, we had quite the distance with the with the pack, though. I'm not gonna lie. It just felt very awkward because, well, if a trek is short, it will always feel whenever you get a blue shell that uh, the crowd is very near you, which is super annoying. And let's just say that Mumu Farm isn't, so to say, the very uh, longest trek ever. There is a reason why there were originally five laps for this trek. And now it actually managed to still get only three, but uh, oh well. All right, we got that down. <laughs> Not that bad of a version of Mumu Farm, gotta say. I still don't really think it's that bad. It's very relaxing. Like, personally, I would say if you, if you like, like Calamari Desert, you should like Mumu Farm for the same reasons. It's just a simple, relaxing track. And, oh, okay, that's good. I did not, uh, I did not intend to actually get the other version of this track uh, right away but that's nice that means we can just keep going like this okay beautiful i don't have to make any stupid cuts or anything like that and this version of koopa trooper beach looks beautiful the music is also representing that wow when i fought you couldn't get pushed around to the point where you almost get off track in super mario kart any longer this game is actually proving that that is more than the case and oh yeah okay so Oh, it's that's the worst moment to actually trigger that. You can only get to uh, to that part of the shortcut if you actually uh, have a mushroom in that sense. And I had a mushroom, just wasn't the right mushroom, I guess. Ooh, but now I do have the right mushroom. Interesting. I might want to keep on to that then. Oh, blue shell that is not directed to me. Oh, I mean, is that going to work actually? When I think about it. I mean, we can we can try. Oh, yeah. And we avoided the blue shell. Wow. Ain't that a great sequence to basically all our problems uh, just a moment ago. That was just insane perfection. I'm kind of speechless uh, because of that. What, what, what just happened? I got a thundercloud, which gave us a mega mushroom, which at one point I had a feeling that I had no idea that would actually be useful or anything. And then we did the, the cut with the mushrooms that we had still from a couple of item boxes ago. And I guess if we wouldn't have had the, that mega mushroom in, at that moment, that blue shell would have actually countered us with the shortcut. While I'm actually failing the normal jump right there. But you get what I mean. Like if that sequence of items wasn't there in that exact pattern. We would have actually lost our advantage with the, with the shortcut that way. And because it actually went the way it went. It was actually perfect. Honestly in terms of how the track already flowed. Like it's. Like, normally the tracks we've seen so far, if it's a remake or something in those lines, it flows a little bit differently. Not so much with this version, I'm not gonna lie. Like, this Calamari Desert is the exact same Calamari Desert as the original- Oh, wait, never mind. Tumbleweeds? Okay, I guess there there is something that can still fuck us over here. Or screw us. Along with Wario and his great, great giant mushroom and his- Handsome standard cards. I really feel like the, these tr these cards are something else, man. If they could have had these cards in standard Mario Kart Wii, I would have implored them to actually get that implemented instead of the design they actually have here. So I'm really happy this modder actually managed to change it around to uh, this design because it's, it's just such a classic design. I feel like Nintendo eventually got onto that and actually implemented this, this, this original style of cards. Especially with the fact that they actually changed the color for all these cards. For every single one of them, I think, as well. Well, AI is still being uh, impressively difficult when it comes to uh, the pace on this track. I guess that's the only way they can actually make this track difficult, if I'm, not, if I'm gonna be real with you. That, and I guess item lock! Yeah, yeah, sure. Sure, run yourself over more. Wow. I'm not sure if this is me getting jinxed or just actual truth of me spitting because wow this is disgusting bad luck although right now i'm turning it around i am really turning this around and uh, well i guess this is this this is not going to end in the best way possible then but that's fine, because we have done our absolute best for the remainder of the track, so I don't even give a fuck. But anyway, I guess I would like to just thank you guys so much for watching right now. If you like what you saw, don't forget to drop a thumbs up. If you want more, make sure to subscribe. And as always, I will talk to you guys later.